Check this out. Manchester United 2, Arsenal 0. Here, Robbie after his humbling. Um, humbling? Yeah, it was a humbler. Yeah, you, you said yesterday that flipping... Yeah, it's not, the, it's not that, the Premier League. It's not the, yeah, relax, yeah, relax. but you was telling us that, you know, no, obviously no, Ten Hag, Ten Hag's copying Arteta and all this. We're ahead of you. We're, we're, look what we scored, five against MLS All-Stars. We're not, you know, LMS All-Stars. Relax, man. <laughs> you know what I mean, relax about humbling. You know what it I mean? is a humbler. You know what I mean? It's not a humbler. It's not a humbler. It's a wake-up call for us. There you go. Right, and and you know what? Could even be could even be a good thing for us in a way, because maybe we have been getting a bit too ahead of ourselves. Maybe the players. Hey, look at this guy. Oh, so now they've been getting ahead of us. Don't <laughs> so blame McCarlis. This is a guy that's getting ahead of himself. He thinks he's won the league. Because Ten Hag's copying Arteta. Ten Hag's copying Arteta. You know what? He thinks. He oh, thinks. <laughs> <laughs> you, I want you guys stressed. to clip this here. No, no. They beat us at the Met oh, Life. You. We they beat you us at the Met Life in New Jersey, so he thinks they won we the league. We clipped them, though. Relax. They said they took us for we MLS All Stars. Bro, they thought it was MLS All Stars. <laughs> this guy, I see him all the time, and he's a deflector. <laughs> he's a, he, I've never seen deflecting on like when he's on DR Sports in the morning. Bro, Monday show. Does it all the time? He's the, the master. You this are a game master. here tonight. Yeah. It was about as important as one of your Ted Lasso episodes. No, no, it's Emmy Award. No, bro, no. Emmy Award. Emmy Award. Red carpet Emmy Award. No, I just downloaded his album again, didn't it? I downloaded the Don Robbie album, fam. How many units sold? Just me. Listen, listen, there's no way I wanted to come here and lose to Man United. There's 83,000 fans here. Right, so even split, the, you know what I mean? Every Arsenal fan want to win this game, right? But at the end of the day, it is a friendly. When I say it's a bit of a wake-up call that might be, even be a good thing, right? Which is going to sound weird because, you know, we, I just said we want to win it. It's just because maybe the players have been getting a bit too ahead of themselves. Mm. There was no intensity from our players today. You guys was like... You, it's like a Premier League game for us. Yeah, I feel like at times you were over. I mean, I thought Lissandro Martinez was lucky to stay on the pitch. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that, tackle, that tackle he put in on Saka, but that kind of summed up the intensity that you guys were playing at. You were flying into tackles. You were, like, kicking balls away yeah. to waste time. You, win. you were slowing the game down. You were All the things you do in the Premier League to try and win a game, whereas we played some nice little patterns and that, but... We weren't. We didn't have that intensity. We didn't have that aggression in our play, which surprised me. Really, really surprised me because that's not really how we've been playing under Arteta. And I heard that he was very angry in his press conference. I bet he must have been, yeah. And I heard that he. And I heard that he had. I mean, I I was coming out and I saw players doing shuttles and things like that. But I heard he, did, he had a training session afterwards, and I was taking a piss out of you guys and talking about how Ten Hag had the players. Yeah, make the players run twenty. <laughs> It looks like Arteta, you see now. <laughs> looks like Arteta actually copied Ten Hag and said no. Wait there! Uh, Whoa! Look at that role reversal. Yeah, exactly. yeah, he does because he's almost like he's saying this is an unacceptable performance. Yeah, it was in front of all these fans, and right, that weren't good enough, and you lot are going to run because basically, I didn't think we played well, and also some horrible errors. I mean, Aaron Ramsdale, love him. Thought we had a poor, poor game. His distribution. Like every pass he yeah, kicked, he was kicking kicked straight to us out. as well. Yeah, yeah, he, he was really poor on that. And then the save, the, you know, what I mean, he should have saved that. Absolutely, it's a straightforward save that normally he always makes. You know, nine times out of ten, we can see the goal. And then Gabriel, what was he doing? Man? I he mean, just, he, I mean, that was awful. It I was couldn't great, believe it. Yeah, great finish. Great finish. He had a lot to do after that. Still yeah. won because uh, he kind of recovered back a bit, but. Still a great, and you lot deserve to win the game. I'm Absolutely. not going to, I'm not going to stand there and say. I mean, we had chances. I mean, Martinelli yeah. should have scored before you lot scored. He had a double chance, Ooh. which he just hit. But then before the that, Anthony goal. should have scored when he had that one. Bruno cut it back to him, and he should have scored. Yeah, we, just before yeah, the Martinelli but think, one. But I think the Martinelli one was easier because it's nearer. It's yeah, like, yeah. They, they, that's cut back to him on the edge of the box, and we see that happen a lot mate, of times. Listen, they fly mate, we got Tom Eaton, mate. Right? You know what I mean? We got Onana. <laughs> yeah. We got Tom Eaton. You don't need an Onana. That's what I'm saying, mate. We got depth. <laughs> we also had a chance when Eddie and Ketcher, yeah. all he had to do was square the ball. He, he's went gone for glory and he's missed the target. So I don't even think, I think we could have got those chances and got back into it. But I was not happy with how we play. But it's a pre season friendly. And I said it to you in Times Square. I say it every time when I'm doing my videos in pre season. If we win, 
fantastic, brilliant. I take the positives out of it, but I don't get carried away. And if we lose, I don't get carried away either because it's pre-season. We've got players out there that, like Declan Rice, um, Havertz, Timber. They're just still learning their, you know, ting, you know, gelling with players yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. I'm still confident that we're going to have a really good season and I'm still confident that we've got a really good team and a really good squad and it's just about gelling them together and getting them ready for that first game of the season which is Nottingham Forest at home and then kicking on from that so this this we might look back on this and say yeah this woke up Arsenal you know Barcelona I'm not, I'm, next I'm next not it? it is Barcelona <laughs> next. And again, yeah, next wake up cool another good test because <laughs> yeah you've got to play the good teams we've got Real Madrid Barce next. Barcelona well, Barcelona, San, yeah, Barcelona again if you do what you did today, if we if we do that today, if Gabriel does that, it's Lewandowski. If if um, you know if you know Ramsdale does that, you know that could be Usman Dembele. You know, I mean, it's quality. So <laughs> you can make them mistakes maybe against MLS All Stars, or you can maybe you can make those mistakes against Nuremberg. You can't against Man United. You can't against you know Barcelona, and you can't against Man City in a Community Shield. So. Mm. We got games that are getting us ready for the first game of the season. That's what preseason is all about. I'm disappointed because so many fans were here today, and I want to win the game. Anytime we play United, I want to win yeah, it. Yeah, the, the poor American fans, man. You couldn't even give them a goal, mate. Couldn't even you give couldn't them a, give them a bloody give them a goal. goal. But it's all right. I think if come September when we play you at the Emirates, yeah. We beat you there. I don't think anybody's going to really care what happened at the Met Life. Nah, no one is. It? In regards yeah. to with the whole season, no one's going to yeah. care. And, but that's what it's about for me this season. So I really want that uh, that Emirates win. That'd be yeah. amazing because we, 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 we don't win. But United we look good. Shot. We look United strong. Shot. And and like I said, today was without Andre Onana, which is going to completely yep. change the way we play. And Tom Heaton was doing a good job of distributing, yeah, yeah. actually. And again, we had no striker or a false nine in Jaden Sancho, yep. and he kept Gabriel and and, um, and Saliba on their toes at least. Yep. Um, and the outlook, Anthony, obviously Tommy Asu had a difficult time against him. Yeah, um, Tommy, and again, he's, he's, and he's again, fresh back as well. Again, the reality of it is Tommy Asu's first game. He's been injured exactly. for about the, the last you know four months. Mm. So. Let's not get carried away. Kobe really? Mainu, man, sure. random midfield, man. You had 105 million quid well, in there, mate. And well, the Kobe from... Do you think Kobe Mainu will be playing for you come the first five, six games of the season? He probably won't. Where he's going, he might. Right, well. Better than know. Rice, mate. Better than Rice, <laughs> OK. <laughs> Clip that. <laughs> uh, just quickly before you go, uh, predictions on the season. I know we did it over and over on TV. Predictions on the season. Where are you going to finish? Going to finish either Man United? Are you going to push the league? Where are you going to? I, I, I still think we will. And I, and I still think that Arsenal are going to be challenging for the league this season. I really do. But listen, United, I, I, I said it from before that, you know, he's a good manager, Ten Hag. And I do think United are going to be up there. You know what I mean? Whether he's, I still think it might be a little bit too early for United. But I think they're going to be up there. You've got a lot of quality in your team. Martinez coming back is big for you guys as well. But I think Arsenal got a good squad this year. I'm really happy with what we've constructed. And I think we're going to be challenging. You know what I mean? It's getting past City. That's the standard. Listen, but stop. Think, we keep I telling you, Liverpool, stop looking Liverpool at City, will be, mate. Liverpool will be back. Look as well. around you. Don't just look at. Don't just look at City. Well, you look be, at. So you be look around. All I'm saying is. Are you gonna be challenging? All I'm saying is look around you. That's all. No, but I'm you offering know, you some advice. The thing is, right? You keep asking. Look around you. That's what I'm saying. You don't need to worry about us. You I'm not worried about anything. I'm just look saying. Around you. Look around you. Yeah, no, we look all do. You. Yeah. But you do. Because I'm not. I'm not saying we finish first. All we got to do is look at Arsenal and City. No, no. Hold on. I'm saying look around you. That's what I'm saying. To finish above us, yeah. So I do you think look that. Yeah, you're so gonna be one point. You're gonna be one place below. Look around us. I'm, around I'm comfortable. Us. You're look saying just you. look at City. No, you're getting carried away, man. Look at Liverpool. It's met life. Look at Man United. I'm gonna remind look you. Look at of this. New, Newcastle. Look at Matty and them, man. That's true. There's you know a, what I mean? Look at Newcastle. There's a lot of competition. <laughs> look at Aston Villa. Exactly. They're strengthening well, right? Look around right? you. But don't get carried away with the met okay. life, bro. I'm gonna do the old yeah. thing like an uncle would say right? to their nephew two things, yeah? or a granddad. Look around you. I'm gonna leave you with that. No, no, I want to leave you with something. You got two things. You got met life. And you got real life, right? Remember yeah. that. And you got ahead of us, and we're going to win. Four, uh, what was your prediction yesterday? 3 0? Did you say? No, I said that. I think you might, you might nick it. <laughs>